we're here at the park in Danville, kind of close to Cal Strength. Uh, kind of acclimating to the training here. So after breakfast this morning, Dave invited us to come work with some of the NFL guys. He runs the NFL Combine every year. You have uh, players that are currently playing and then ones that are trying to get drafted through the Combine. So we're out here today just kind of being a part of what they're doing, watching Dave and his craft, helping these guys, and being a part of the whole acclimation of a day or two days at California Strength. Linear speed work here on the field in the morning, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Then we focus on lateral speed on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then we focus on position specific work on Saturdays. So whatever position they are, we have coaches that we've, we've engaged that actually takes them through the football drills. Good. Anchor and push. Anchor and push. Anchor and off that back leg. Anchor and push. So it's all glue meat actually. Let's go eight on the right, eight on the left, two rounds. Come all the way up. Good arm mechanics. 90 degrees on the front side, 120 degrees on the back side. Knees up, toes up, eyes up. Dude, everybody had a rough weekend. I did. You didn't have a rough weekend? I did. You had a big, yeah, I saw you leave with uh, the cutest girl in the gym. Really? <laughs> the early stages of our NFL Combine Preparation Program, and so what we did today um, was an example of a linear speed workout here on the field, so getting them ready to run the 40-yard dash. Um, after our baseline testing, we go into what we call an accumulation phase, and so that involves loading up the athletes um, with sleds, vests, a lot of resistance type activities um, that are geared towards helping them develop uh, both the stride-specific strength uh, that we're looking for and also load the endocrine system so we're suppressing testosterone, suppressing the cortisol levels. It'll help us later on when we taper them and then peak them for their event. A lot of what we're missing when we play football is front side mechanics. So getting their knees up, getting their toes up, getting those hip flexors to kind of create the, the, the front side mechanic that we're looking for so that they can create ground reaction force by driving into the turf. That's ultimately going to open their stride length. There's only two things that influence speed, stride length and stride frequency. And so stride length is a variable that we can control. Stride frequency, pretty much set. Kyle, you look like you're in the fucking marching band again. Over the hurdles, guys. Everybody's like hamstrings feel all right? Start at 65% on the first one. hanging out with a bunch of these combine guys and uh, doing something that's a little bit out of my personal purview with all those agility drills. We hit the ladder, we hit the hurdles, doing accelerators, which had no acceleration for me at all. Uh, not being the most top athletic person on the planet, it's, it's cool to be next to a bunch of guys that are way faster and way more athletic than I am. Oh. You're watching Armin run. <laughs> Uh, Compex unit uh, that we use, uh, there's a setting called potentiation, so trying to recruit high threshold motor units, so muscles that don't fire in the normal course of activity, we try and wake those up uh, before we start our, our linear speed, and uh, it's effective, so. <laughs> Move your ass. <laughs> Weightlifters train uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they train AM, PM sessions at 10 AM and 5 PM, and then Tuesday, uh, Thursday, and Saturdays, they just train one PM session. So they train nine sessions a week right now. We actually missed the weightlifters training this morning. We'll see them training this afternoon. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you'll get, a, you'll get an example of what a day in the life is like here at Cal Strength. We worked out this morning, we had a great agility session, a little bit of running, a little bit of sleds, most good stuff there. And now, we're training with the team as far as lifting goes. So, Dave's got us doing some singles on the two minute with a snatch and, uh, and a heavy, 
heavy-ish, single clean jerk. See how it goes. back injury to just fucking completely humble your ass and yeah. make you appreciate the value of your mobilization, warm up, and then making good decisions on your attempts. Are you putting ants on me? Why are you putting ants on me? Yeah. Hey, they're strong. You're, yeah, the ants are very strong. Time for pounds. So the highest relative strength in the animal kingdom. A day in the life, Charlie, a day in the life. From pulling sleds to snatch him. We are going. To snatch eight singles with a two-minute clock. So you have two minutes to rest, 30 seconds to make the attempt. Just kind of keeping people like in a rhythm. They started this last week at 82%, and now they're increasing five kilos based upon the idea that they were able to achieve seven out of eight last week. So in leading up to some of the, the competitions, like trials, which we have uh, uh, at the... Uh, middle of next month, we like to ingrain precision. So it's all just kind of working to you know, make the three attempts that you have in the snatch and the clean and jerk. Cool, so snatches and clean and jerks, got it. That black one on top looks about right for you. Dude, you gotta make me look good. What? This is fucking... Bad I'm just kidding. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, a lot of times people kind of get intimidated to think they may not be good enough or whatever. It's like, oh, it's, you hear it with competition a lot. It's like, well, when I get good enough, I'm going to compete. Well, you're never going to think you're good enough. But it's like, no, nah, man, everybody's here. Just like lift what's heavy for you. Have fun. You know? Oh, it's cool though. The vibe's always fun. It's always a conducive atmosphere for getting yourself better and uh, competing, just having those personal competitions. Like we were sharing your platform. My goal was just not miss. And then if you miss, it, I would chalk that up as a win. Yeah. But we both completed all of our snatches. So that was good. But that's one of those driving forces, you get in an atmosphere with people that want to get better, you have to find little things to push you and it's good because that is uh, amplified here. something to differentiate yourself. Yeah, it might not be a snatch. It's definitely not going to be the weight on my bar.
makes me excited that you know how to coach me. I'm special. Especially the newcomers, really impressed. That's what this is about. Like, they're gonna, not all these snatches are going to feel great. You know, you're going to have to take the feedback that the workout's giving you, and then implement that into the into the next lift. If you saw a program was like eight singles at 85 percent, that's fucking ridiculous. I can't do that. But in this atmosphere, you know, when it's kind of just like your expectations are altered, and so people are able to do you know, things they might not ordinarily be able to do. Great job. Everybody looked really good tonight. Good focus. Proud of you. Except you. I know. I know. You have a lot of growing up to do. No. Woo! Good workout, everybody. I'm staying this way forever. So we just finished up our weightlifting training session with the team in the evening. This morning we had that great agility and speed session. Things are feeling pretty good right now. We'll see how we feel tomorrow coming back for yet another session with the team and maybe even some bench with a special guest. All right, we'll see how we go tomorrow. Thank you.